Hey guys, today we are going to talk about how to tell if a Magic the Gathering card on Craigslist is fake. Yes. The first thing you should look at is what is being sold on Craigslist. Is it a $50,000 collection? Is it two near mint beta underground seas? Completely near mint, by the way. Or is it something that is more reasonable, like someone's collection for $200? Now, if it is very high end, they can take these two near mint underground seas to any GP, they can ship it, they will find a buyer in a major city. So this person is located in De Detroit, which is actually six mile. I think that was the M&M movie, six miles, right? So on that road, now the question is, do you trust this listing? So he understands TCG player, light play is $4,300, near mint is almost $6,000. So how much does he want for these cards? He wants $2,000 each, he has two of them. And they are both pristine and he recognizes this as the case. These are near mint to mint and would yield between a nine and a 10 if graded. Okay, if a deal is too good to be true, if someone tried to sell you a $50,000 magic collection, which they understand is $50,000, for $1,500, that's too good to be true. If someone's trying to sell you $12,000, of magic cards for 4,000, that is too good to be true. You also look at the, the way he's trying to sell them on Craigslist. Yes, I know there's no fees. Yes, I know that at the end of the day, Craigslist, people buy cars from Craigslist. So they do buy objects that are more expensive However, you're not going to buy a really awesome, imagine this was a car and the car blue book was $12,000. So it's a nice car. Most Kias, you can get a new Kia for $12,000. And the person was asking for 4,000. They are probably selling you a lemon, probably. Otherwise they could take it to CarMax and get at least six to seven thousand dollars for the car. If the car is worth twelve, CarMax will give you relatively half. The same with any any vendor would look at this and say, "Ha, huh, pristine nine to ten near mint beta underground seas." Even just to have them as display, some vendors would be interested. But it's twelve thousand dollars, and you asking for four. Yeah, you can take it to any vendor and get four because buy list is 50%. However, buy list for more valuable cards is towards the 70 or 75%. So when we talk about a deal being too good to be true, it's very obvious. There's no like gray area, right? There's not like, hey, this person is selling me something that is $12,000 for 10. Maybe it makes sense because is it actually worth 12? Probably not. It's probably closer to worth 10. But maybe that person is selling you $12,000 for of a collection worth $8,000. And to that person, it's higher than the buy list, but it's also a very big collection. It's going to take a lot of your time. One of the things that MTG Finance does not understand well is your time is valuable. If you're a developer, in Houston, you get paid $85 to $97 an hour if you're a freelance developer from vitamin C. And I had them call me and I asked them how much it was and that was it. So if you are a developer, your time is worth $85 an hour. If you work at McDonald's, your time is worth $10 an hour. I assume that's how much McDonald's pays, I, probably less, but the time that it takes you to sell, to sort, to package, to collect, and then the fees that you would be eating on the PayPal, the postage, the, the stamps, 
is significant. Also, the initial investment in capital. So if someone trying to sell a very large collection of, let's say, 20,000 cards, and the total TCG player of that collection comes out to around $12,000, then maybe $4,000 makes sense because it will be very difficult for someone to sell just singles all the time. Because a lot of times when you're selling a dollar single here, a dollar single there, two dollars here, very time consuming and it is a full-time job for multiple months. But for something like this, where it's literally just two cards and it does not take much to find a buyer if these are real, you have to ask why did the original poster not find a buyer? Is it too good to be true? So not only is the value, but the ease of making profitability on this, obviously the person knows about TCG player. So he probably knows about buy listing. Why is he not buy listing this if it's real? Or why doesn't he go to his local big city store? Or he can even drive into town. Find, you know, call a few stores, see if they're interested. I'm sure you will get a few biters because Hey, if this is the legit, if this is legit, how many stores own this? So the card is fake. I mean, the card is obviously fake from the scans, but even if you saw an image, you can use something called 10i-t-i-n-e-y-e.com to determine if that image is being, if it has been used previously. So 10i will pull up all the times the image has been used and it will allow you to see, oh, this was an eBay auction two years ago, if this person purchased it, why did they not take a new picture of it? And how is it exactly the same picture? Why are they using the same picture? My binder of the, my picture, a picture of my binder of the Liliana's, just the pages, the double pages of them, that is used on eBay quite often to sell Liliana of the veils by counterfeiters. Because they don't own it, like, or they don't own real copies of it. So, that's another way. These are not tin eyed. This is someone's cell phone. And the other crazy part is when people are, at least this person did the work to post pictures that I assume that he or she took. A lot of times I will see Craigslist posts for collections and it is taken on a potato camera. Again, one of my biggest pet peeves about so-called MTG finance people is that they do such a good job investing and such a great job speculating and destroying the markets that they can't, they can't even afford a good microphone. They can't even afford a good camera. They don't have the iPhone. My iPhone is an SE, it shoots in 4K. I'm, I'm sure that, and it's an older iPhone, it's an SE, so it came out, I don't know, like a few months ago. All, and that's a iPhone. That's not a camera. Obviously my camera can shoot in 4K as well. But what is going on if you make so much money and you're just rolling in the money from NTG Finance, you can't afford something better than a potato camera? And that's the same thing with a Craigslist. A lot of times I will see a collection for $50,000, $5,000 and it's blurry. Like It's like if you have this collection and you spent this money buying this, how can you not afford a $100 Coolpix camera that can shoot 24 megabytes or tw yeah, 24 megapixels? Is it megabytes or megapixels? I don't remember, but that's $100. You can afford the camera. Just consider it part of what you need to do to sell that collection. If you don't have an iPhone or a Samsung Galaxy, maybe those explode still. Anyway, an iPad or so, an iMac, Regardless, you see where I'm going. If someone can afford a huge collection, how do they not have something better than like a crappy microphone and camera? And how come they cannot take a picture of this really awesome collection? You have to do work. When I was selling stuff on Magic Online Trading League or trading for it back in the day, you had to take scan it we didn't really have cameras that could take in such high resolution you had to scan it and it had to be 300 dpi for any cards over 50 dollars and then you had to scan the back you had to scan the front if it was a playset you had to scan the playset together and you had to send the person images and they would send they would say oh, okay cool cool and then they would get the exact cards with the exact nick in it i don't know why that doesn't happen more on craigslist and ebay 
um, unless you know you're trying to scam someone with a potato camera since you're selling so many magic cards anyway those are my pet peeves and if it's the simple the simple this is not like the 1995 where no one had internet on their phone or no one understood how to use the internet by definition this person posting on craigslist has internet by definition he has checked up the prices and he knows what the prices are for this card he knows how much he can get for buy list he knows he has two very very liquid cards that he can take to any gp and flip for way more than four thousand dollars and yet he's posting the card bot i mentioned this before but the card by the way is, is fake it doesn't the resolution is not correct the the um the card the image is not correct anyway leave me a comment below if you found a amazing craigslist deal and it was real because i i am interested to learn about those as well so bye guys